So probably by the time this video comes out, um, it'll be a bit late, but I don't care. I really want to do this. Like the title says, we gonna be trying some jam. Still haven't yet to watch the video. I say I'm gonna do something and I get distracted very easily. I saw it and I'm like, what, more jam? Yo, we're gonna buy jam. Logan's Jam was the first piece of merch I actually bought from Thomas, because I'm just like, sure it's one thing, but I can always eat some jam. Get the thing, let's, let's look at the box, the box. I'm keeping the box, I don't care what anyone says. Oh my God, look at that. All their symbols and each side has each of the sides and each of the flavors with their symbol and everything. And that was super neat how it has, whoop, all their names at the bottom too. It's gonna be a pretty chill video. I don't know how to review jam, whatever like that. Ugh. I already opened, I'm so scattered brain right now. I kind of already opened Logan's <laughs> just because it wouldn't be a shock because I already had Logan's. His was the first one. Actually, I still have the jar, give me a second. So this is the original uh, Logan's berry uh, jam. Sorry, can't talk today. Uh, the newer ones are normal size ones because because of Thomas and I don't buy it just because like, oh, it's Thomas's and Logan's and the side's favorite jam. So therefore I will always buy this jam. No, literally like he talked about the jam. I found it that store, I tried it and the jam's freaking great to the point where I'm like, hmm, I wanna try a new jam. And I go to the jam aisle and looking at jam, I'm like, I really don't want to try a new jam. I really, really like this brand, like regardless of Thomas. Since Logan's Berry came out, I only buy crofters. Like I don't like any other kind of, okay. I guess it's technically jelly. It's not jam, it's spread, whatever. I'm going to keep calling it jam. The technical terms, whatever. But literally it's like the only jam I'll eat and I will slather that motherfucker on the bread too. Like I put, like I, I overstuff like burritos, sandwiches and stuff. Like I put so much filling in there to the point where especially burritos, like I can barely wrap it up. Even if I try to not do that, I can't help it. I don't eat it by a spoonful, <laughs> really. But um, I do put a lot, a lot on the bread. Today we will just be eating it with a spoon. And with a rainbow spoon. Oh yeah, a few differences too. Like what was the original Logan that has purple hair because my palm still had purple hair and obviously the newer ones have all brown hair. I will probably actually, because I plan on keeping all these jars and as you can see, I put glitter inside here um, and there's some change in here too. But because I have the newer Logan ones, I'm actually probably gonna recycle this one. Never. Also, I did not realize like obviously unopened uh, the Jam will last quite a bit on, you know, room temperature on a shelf. Uh, but when it's open uh, in a refrigerator, only lasts 30 days. What I plan to do, and I've already like saved a few things stuff too, but I made homemade Pop-Tarts. Um, and I actually plan on doing some recipes with the rest of the jam because I don't want them to go bad. I want to use them for something. I also have a plan because I really want to make French macarons. Macarons, not macaroons different, two different things. I want to make macarons and I want them to, to be colored for the sides and I want them to be flavored with their jam. I don't know what's gonna happen and I probably won't film it because I've never made them before, but it's on my bucket list. Let's try these jams. Now again, Logan's is, you know, what, what was it? <laughs> it was pomegranate blackberry. Yes, it was very nice, very good. Well, these are gonna be more room temperature. So let's see how these, Go because I prefer it cold. Romans is royal raspberry chariot. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. So it's raspberry and cherry. I'm not a big fan of cherry, more often than not, unless it's like smothered with a bunch of different kinds of berries. I think of that cherry cough syrup. The blueberry cran attack, so wild blueberry and cranberry. I think I'll really like this. I don't like blueberry, but I really do like blueberry when it's mixed with other berries, a little bit more than cherry. Patton, I don't predict I will like. I think I see chunks in here. Very few, but I feel like I do. I really don't like seeds, chunks, anything. My jam jellies, bleh. Mm. I mean, I like peach, I like mangoes. Like, for whatever reason, I'm feeling like I'm not gonna enjoy the jam. When I, I, I just prefer berry flavored stuff. So I feel like I'm gonna like his the least, honestly. We are gonna start with the one I know I'm gonna like the most, which is Virgil, or at least I hope so. Ooh, yeah, it really smells like cranberry. Wow, it really smells like cranberry. Aw, there's chunks in here. <laughs> okay, it tastes good. 
Like, I like the flavor, but I'm a very, very big texture person. There's a lot of foods that I enjoy the flavor of it, but I can't eat it in certain situations because the texture grows me out. So, I'm sorry, Thomas, I know you're not gonna watch this video, but I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just saying like I'm really weird with textures, especially on my tongue, that sounds weird, but that's just how it is. But I do like the flavor. I feel like if I put it in like a Pop-Tart too, I might enjoy that situation a little bit more. Again, I'm not someone, I can't eat, I'm sorry, as good as Crofter is, I can't, it's really weird eating it with like a spoonful, so bear with me. I also want cranberry juice now. Also, my roommates do not eat this jam. They have their own separate jams, so I don't have to worry. Well, sorry, that's a lie. Um, Cause I'm gonna make this and stuff. Maybe I'll use the back of the spoon. <laughs> so we won't be too gross. All right, Romans now. Yep, this one has chunks too. Why does Logan's not have chunks then? Why do the rest have chunks? Come on, raspberry overpower the cherry. Ooh, I like that one. I don't even taste cherry, so that's good. <laughs> Roman, so far, you winning. All right, Patton, sorry, bud. I will be very careful dipping into the top. Let's see what we got here. I actually really like that one. I actually really like that one. It's a lot less acidic than the rest. The rest have that, or not, sorry, not acidic tartness. This one tastes really sweet, but not in a bad, really sweet way. Like it's overly, there's too much sugar in there. Ooh, ooh. All right, Patton. Mm. I, if I'm going to categorize them, Logan, first, still first, because he has no chunks and that is a big in, uh, factor for me. Um, Patton, ooh. Okay, I have to think of this. Which one would I prefer putting on uh, peanut butter and jelly. That's what I have the most with jam. That's what I always do. Unfortunately, I still don't. Patton, I see me eating just with toast or a slice of bread, no peanut butter. But I always, if I'm gonna do that, I always usually have peanut butter. So unfortunately, I have to put him at the very, very end, but his is still really, really good. Between Roman and Virgil, because I don't really taste a lot of the cherry, I think I'm gonna have to put a uh, Roman second and then Virgil third. I know you can't see. Uh, so in first place, first place, Logan. Second place, Roman. Third place, Virgil. Last place, Patton. Sorry, Patton, love ya, but I don't want peach and mango with my peanut butter. <laughs> and that would be the video. However, I would like to theorize because we are missing a couple guys. Dare I say, my favorite guys. But I would like to theorize, and I did a little bit on Instagram, uh, not Instagram, Twitter about what I think Deceit and Remus is. Sorry, I, I jumble between calling him Deceit and Janice all the time. I'm used to the name Janice now, okay? I've accepted that. What Janice and Remus's flavors would be. Now for Janice, because whenever I'm associated, uh, like categorized, I, my mind immediately goes for color first. So my, I started thinking about like yellow colored or even orange colored fruits and i'm also trying to think of like what is already in store and stuff again i don't venture i always you just go for like blackberry and raspberry so i'm not really paying attention to really the rest of them obviously lemon i think it's going to be way way too tart for like a spread but it's there we already have well this is peach and mango so the next one is like apricot maybe i don't know what can be made into a jam what not i don't i've made jam once and i've seen it be made so i don't know what is actually feasible i'm just thinking about fruits i think would taste good or interesting or a little different uh, so pineapple still yellow uh there is apple butter i grew up having apple butter i don't know if it's the same process and they just call it butter for whatever reason but apple jam I don't know, I guess. I don't know. I'm just listing off things that sound good. Those are only the things I have for uh, Janice. Remus, again, I'm thinking with color. Uh, my first thought, pickles. 
Can you make jam out of pickles? I don't know. But I thought of the green and I thought of something that would be absolutely freaking disgusting. I also hate pickles. And then as I was thinking about that more, something that's a little bit more palatable, sour apple. Because that's usually green. Um, still going with the apple butter thing, I guess. That That's all I have that. And then I thought, because Remus is such a clusterfuck and such a like a, a trash can man, rat king, whatever you want to call it. Are you going to listen to me? Probably not. I'm just spitballing here. Remus would be such like a clusterfuck fuck flavor of weirdness or at least that's what I would think. Well, I guess you could always do this. You don't really need to have a separate jar of it. But Remus would be a mixture of all the freaking flavors because it would probably be freaking gross. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna think it's gross anyways because of the chunks. I do have all the flavors here. We're gonna do that. Let's get a tiny bit so we don't waste a bunch of them. I'm truly curious as to why Logan is the only one that is seedless. That's still bothering me. <laughs> so we have blackberry pomegranate, raspberry cherry, blueberry cranberry, peach, and mango all together. Now the rest of those sound like fine together, except for Patton. The peach and the mango is going to be the weird addition. Ooh, Remus, mix them all together. Add black food coloring so it just looks like tar. Try not to get giant chunks. Sorry, I'm just trying not to get chunks. Alright. Okay, honestly, it's not that bad. It really isn't. There's not a distinct, I mean, other than, I think it's the peach I'm mainly getting, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm overwhelming. The peach is overwhelming, which I did, wouldn't think that would be such a strong flavor in this whole concoction. It's very, very faint. It's more so like the sweetness of the peach, if that makes any sense. But I'm not really not getting distinct any flavor, just sweet goodness. Okay, I thought that'd be way more gross. Pose is entertaining. At all. <laughs> Let me know, did you get any of these standard size jams? Uh, what do you think? What is your favorite? What is your least favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you all next time.